Hello everyone, welcome back. Let's implement step number six, which is the final step. Here, we are gonna define linear regression model. So step six, define linear regression model and parameters we are passing are x-train, y-train, then x-val, y-val, learning rate, then finally epochs and the first step is to initialize parameters w b is equal to initialize parameters and here we are passing length of w this is step number one and i'm gonna define length of w here as x train dot shape shape zero zero for number of features or number of rows here so this is step number one and then we will iterate through for loop for i in range one to epochs plus one and plus one because we are starting from one here not zero so then we will execute step number two which is z which is z train z underscore train is equal to forward prop and parameters we are passing are x train w b this is our step number two and then we have third step as computation of cost function so we say cost underscore train is equal to cost function and parameters we are passing as z train comma y train this is for step step number three and then we have back propagation dw db is equal to back prop and parameters we are passing are x train y train and also z train so z train from step number two this is step number four and then step number five is gradient descent update w b is equal to gradient descent update and parameters are w b dw db then learning rate from here this is step number five next step will be to store all these training cost in a list so store training cost in a list for plotting purposes for plotting purposes so here we are going to say that if i percent 10 equal to equal to zero it means for every 10th iteration we are gonna store it in a list then we say costs underscore train this is a list costs underscore train dot append and we are going to append this cost underscore train in this list and also we are gonna define costs underscore train list as an empty list So the next step will be to define MAE that is an indicator of how well our training is going on. So MAE underscore train. So here MAE train will be like this MAE underscore train is equal to one over M underscore train. M underscore train is number of training examples which we can define here as m train is equal to y underscore train dot shape of one one for number of columns so here this times np dot sum sum of what sum of z i minus y i modulus so np dot sum of np dot absolute value of z train b minus y train
So this is MAE train here. And then we are going to find cost, uh, this cost function for, for this validation set. So we say cost underscore val, and then also we will find MAE validation. So we will repeat this step for validation set. So we say zval is equal to forward prop xval w. Next step is this one computation of validation cost, which is cost underscore val is equal to z val y val and then we also find m a e underscore val here so m a e underscore val is equal to 1 over m val and also i'm gonna define m val here and this m a val, m val is equal to y underscore validation y val dot shape one in the similar fashion this is number of validation examples so here in place of train we again put validation val and val so this is our cost val m val then next step will be print out what print out cost val cost training cost then cost underscore validation cost m a e val m a e train m a e train m a e val so these things we need to print out then we say print for every iteration so we are using epox number so plus str i plus we are using this plus we are using str of epox and plus we say this one so for every epox slash total number of epox is this one will give us print and here i'm going to print out training cost training cost is uh, equal to plus str cost underscore train plus plus then our validation cost plus then str cost underscore validation next is to print training ma and validation ma so i'm going to copy this here and i'm saying this is training mae and here this is train ma underscore train so i'm saying this is mae underscore train and similarly this is validation mae and here this is mae underscore val so next part will be the plotting part then let's plot plt dot plot and uh, then cost underscore train this list is passed here and then we say plt dot x label and labeling x labeling is uh, iterations so we say iterations and we say per tens per tens because for every tenth iteration we are plotting cost so then plt dot y label and here we are putting training cost training cost here and then plt dot title and here in the title we say learning rate and learning rate is what plus str learning rate which already passed here and then finally plt dot show finally we were able to implement linear regression model from scratch in python congratulations on our first machine learning algorithm in the next video we are going to test out this model on a very famous data set known as Boston House Price data set. If you like this video, do comment below and subscribe to my channel for more videos. Fine, thank you.